Okay guys, we are going to go over today how to quickly and easily make a resume in Microsoft Word 2007. The first thing you're going to do is go and click on the Start button. And then we will click on the All Programs button. Then open the Microsoft Office menu. Then we're going to open up Microsoft Word 2007. Once the Microsoft Office document opens, we are going to go up to the Office Start menu and click on it. Then I want you to click on the new menu item. As you can see, the new document menu item opens, and you can see there's a list of templates over on your left hand side and blank and recent documents on your right. I want you to look at the templates and scroll through them and drag down until you see resume. This slide's graphics are off a little bit, but when you see Resume, I want you to click on it. It will give you a couple different options here if you want to get a basic resume or a job specific. For right now, let's just click on Basic. As you can see, a couple different resume styles come up when you click on Basic. I'm going to take you through a couple of these. The chronological resume is the most basic in general that most people work with. If you want to have a slightly more eye-catching resume, you can actually have a chronological resume that has a blue line design. And again, there are many different styles depending on what exactly you're looking for and what kind of job you're applying for. Some of these resumes are uploaded by users within the Microsoft community, and before you can download these, you have to accept the agreement, because these are not made by Microsoft. These, again, are made by users, so they might contain defects or they might contain a virus. Now, I've never heard of anybody downloading a virus because they've downloaded a template. I think Microsoft is just covering themselves by making you click on this agreement. There are two things I want to discuss about this specific resume. One, you don't want your resumes to be overly gaudy. I think it's a huge turnoff to, to a potential employer if you have all kinds of graphics all over your resume. Another huge no-no of resumes, from at least my understanding, is putting a picture of yourself in the resume. This can lead to age discrimination, sex discrimination, or maybe they just don't like the way you look. Now, if you're a model, this may be an exception to the rule, but for the most part, you really should not put in a picture in a resume. In this chronological resume, it's a nice basic resume. I'm going to show you guys how easy it really is to just put in your own information into these templates. Once you selected the chronological resume, now click on Download. small box in the lower right corner of it says to do this again. Check box and then hit OK. Confirm your Office 2007 is a genuine version of Microsoft Office and it will then download your template as you see here. We're going to change around a couple things inside of this template. I'm going to show you. It's just very, very easy to do this. To change your name, you just click on your name and change it to your personal name. And all I do is type in my name here, if I could spell it right. And then I'm going to click on my objective. I've heard many different schools of thought on what belongs in the objective field. I've always put something to the effect of to secure a job in a college or university teaching mass communication, teaching computer sciences, and graphic design. This is a good discussion for our message board forum. I'm going to post a bulletin up on there, and we will discuss this. Now obviously not everybody knows the exact date they started at a job and the exact date that they ended. Sometimes it's satisfactory just to say in the spring of 2004 to the fall of 2007 or just from 2003 to 2007. Then you just put its city and state.
we then put in our job title here. If you didn't have a job title per se, I would make one up of basically describing what you're doing, but make it sound really important. Then describe your key job responsibilities. If you have received any achievements or any awards for your job, this is a good place to list them as well. Field, you want to list your degrees that you've earned. You want to list your highest degrees first, so it would go something like PhD, then Masters, then Bachelors and Associates. The more degrees you have, the less you eventually have to list. So if you're putting a PhD or a Masters degree on there, there is no need to say what high school you graduated from. As you can tell, this is a very job experience heavy resume. If you want to list more degrees that you've earned, generally you can hit tab and it will insert new fields for you to put them in. If not, you can generally copy and paste the degree that you earned and then just change the fields as needed. Here you want to list some of your interests that are pertinent to the job. The fact that you were an amateur wrestler in high school may not apply to working inside of an office, but if you're applying for a job, say, as a security guard, that might be an interest you want to list. A lot of jobs do require references. Sometimes you're able just to say references are available on request. If they are requiring references, you want to be able to list them. Some require personal references, which basically can be friends and family members that can just basically account for what kind of person you are and your educational experience. Then there's professional references that you may need a college professor or a former employer to be able to speak well of you. Once you've completed your resume, you want to go to the Office Start menu and save it for me. Click the Save As button. and then save the project as project one your name resume or something to that effect here it's asking me if I want to save it as a dot docx file other words an office 2007 file I always want the files from my students saved in the current version of Microsoft Office that we are working with. Please do not send me Microsoft Office 2003 or Office XP files. I want to see that you use the program Microsoft Office 2007 to do your projects. Then we can close out the program and that is how you create a resume using a template. That concludes on how to make a resume using Microsoft Word 2007 using templates. Remember to check back at johntrosky.com and your Blackboard and other e-learning references for future updates.